Uh, let's see. We all get careless from time to time and accidentally try to make sense of the liberal mind. This is from Rob Kennedy. Which <laughs> remedy do you prefer for the ensuing headache? Aspirin, Excedrin, Tylenol, or floating on a lake on a hot summer's day? I take Imitrex. <laughs> Yeah, you got some killer migraines. I get migraines. So I take Imitrex and lots and lots of barbiturates. <laughs> Thinking the floating on a lake thing sounds pretty good, actually. Better living through chemistry. <laughs> Do either or both of you own concealed carry permits? If not, why not? You start. Um, I do. I have a, um, lifetime li- a lifetime license to carry in the state of Indiana. And I did that, let's see, gosh, almost two years ago, I think. So, yes, I have a, um, a permit for life. Hopefully I'm that a grandfather awesome. and if they change anything. but um, And I'm still getting good at the gun thing. And I'm, you know, all for educating myself and practicing and all that kind of stuff. But, yes, uh, my husband is a big gun guy. Um, my stepson is a big gun guy now. Um, we like that's like all they want for Christmases and birthdays it seems but um but yeah we're a big gun house we're very gun friendly in our house um locked up in a in a nice safe yeah. and then we're actually getting a safe that it was really cool they had this these neat safes that they just know your fingerprints Ooh. so like Mr. Daisy and my fingerprints will only be able to open the box Ooh, see, we for have the one that we'll have in our we bedroom have to enter, yeah like a little code yeah so anyway so yeah we're a gun friendly house so I have a um an LTCH I do not, um, and I do not personally own a handgun. Mr. Mock has, I don't know, two or three, um, and I, but I've shot them, and I'm ac- actually a really good marksman, yeah. markswoman. Usually women um, are. I, I rock at it, actually, but I don't have my own, and it's not that I wouldn't want one. It's just, you know, I, it's just not high on my priority list. Maybe it will get higher. And they're kind of expensive. They're expensive, they and I always just it. think, oh, would I rather have shoes or do I want a gun? Yeah, it, it can be tough. I mean, like, there's a Colt 45 that I want. It's like $1,000. I mean, they're not cheap. Yeah. They're not cheap. So it's one of those things where you have to really budget for them and stuff like that. So if it's not, you know, we pay for college and um, and daycare. So it's kind of like, at this point, you have to kind of ration what goes to guns <laughs> and ammo. But we do a pretty good job of trying to buy ammo. You know, when we go to Walmart, we'll try to pick up ammo. We're a gun-friendly family. So. Definitely. Um, Robert Simpson would like to know if wedges are in this year. I think they're completely in this year. Espadrilles, wedges, huge. huge. They were wedges last summer. Huge. They I, were last summer. They were last summer, mm-hmm. and I think that they are continuing to be. I kind of love that question. It's a, it's, and especially it from, from a guy. A guy. I, yeah, it's. My husband wouldn't even You're a keeper. Wedges. My husband would be like, what's a wedge? <laughs> Isn't it like a golf thing? <laughs> That's a wedge, right? <laughs> Love a few questions that we got on our on our on our regular site. Um, there's one from Tim P who has three questions. One, he wants to know about the face smashing thingy. That's mom. The, <laughs> the origins, the strategy, and who took it best and who freaked out. I love this question. I don't really face smash. You're a face smasher. That's right. Daisy's not not necessarily a face smasher, although she she will when coerced. But I <laughs> so I've been doing it for as long as I can remember. I there are there are pictures of me as you know, a child. We and taught. this is just what I do. A it's we taught. A we taught. Where that is what I do. But it's I like the fact that he says who took it best and who freaked out. I will say our beloved Mitch Daniels, he always takes he's, it so he well. He loves, yeah. He's, and I will give him hugs because he is so huggable. I mean, he's 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 tolerated it from word one. But the first time that we ever met Mitch Daniels and we were completely starstruck and walked into his office like, oh my God, we get to be here. And I said yep. to him, after we had our serious conversation, we were trying to act professional. I, yeah, I said, this. I'm going to need to kiss you on the cheek. And it all kind of started from there. So we each grabbed, we got on either side and gave him a big old sh- um, smooch, smooch on, the, on the cheek. And from there on, it just sort of developed. And now it's become this this sort of face smash. So who freaked phenomenon. out? So I think I know who freaked out. I know who freaked out. So, well, yeah, you know one person who freaked out. But I'm, I'm actually going to talk about another. Um, and you can talk about the one. But the person who is not so much into it <laughs> is Mike Pence. Oh, yeah, he's not into who, face smash. Congressman at all. Mike Pence is a very traditional, very uber conservative man, um, devoted to his wife. And that is, he's, he is very guarded about his personal space, which I respect. Um, but I also, Just not all the time. Yeah. I don't respect it all, all the, the time. time. So, yeah. <laughs> so there's been an occasion where, um, I saw him at an event and I said, you know, you're going to try to be governor of the state of Indiana. He's going to be governor of the state. Of Indiana. He, he will be governor, he but will be governor. in the process of campaigning, I, you know, I said, Mitch Daniels, he face smashes. And so and he's not really into he the face has smashing. sort of set a standard. And so there was one day where I, I just sort of insisted 
on a face mesh, and he was a good sport, although he I wasn't he, happy. He, I don't think he was particularly happy about no, it. No, I mean, I was afraid we were going to get, you know, <laughs> so I, escorted out of the building. I, I'm going to post that picture, I think, yeah, along with good. this video. I will that'd post the picture of me getting the face mesh from Mike Pence. He looks happy in the picture, but I can assure you that he wasn't. And the other one was Ari Fleischer. Yes, Ari Fle again. Ari Fleischer, same thing. Because he, oh my God, and his wife is awesome. We love, love her. her. Love him. She is awesome, yeah. And she's an Indiana girl. We mm -hmm. love her. Um, but anyways, he was he was really worried about what his wife would think. Yeah. And of course, she's like a reader, and she's I think she kind of likes yeah, us. So, she, yeah. And she gave us permission. She, yeah, she gave us permission. But anyways, he was sweet because he didn't want to irritate his wife. And so, but then he, now he's warmed up to us, and I think he likes us, and he reads our site. But um, at the beginning, he was like, Wizard, who are you freaks? <laughs> yeah. Because yeah. we can be a little overwhelming. Yeah, just maybe a little bit. <laughs> We kind of stick out like a sore thumb at these events. So. <laughs> um, Tim P. also asked, are, if we somehow win in November, what will you two do? Back off, slow down, or will you continue to speak truth to power? We'll still continue. Yeah, in There's fact... There's always going to be people to mock. And you know what? There's always going to be people to mock on the Republican side. Absolutely. So even if we win, which, you know what, honestly, I don't have very high hopes about that, but even if we do... Yeah. Um, we're going to be calling people out that are on our side, too, that are not behaving themselves. <laughs> yeah. So. And honestly, I think with the people that we have um, in the running right now, there's stuff I can make fun of right now. Oh, yeah. So. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So definitely. if we have these same people right now. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, we got some, we got some mocking to do. Mm -hmm. We got some mocking to do.